Class of 2022, I'm Cory Booker. I'm so honored that uh, I have a moment with you uh, to share with you some of my joy at your graduation. It has been a tough year. It's demanded your grit and your perseverance. Uh, you have risen to the challenges and in, even in dark times, you have still shown your light. I wanna congratulate the entire community that made this graduation possible educators, faculty, staff, and the families that supported our graduates. Together, you all have made this day possible. But what I hope to share most is something I learned when I was in a similar position as you. When I first moved to Newark, New Jersey, 25 years ago, as I was graduating from my law school class, I had this huge sense of hope and aspiration. I really uh, was full of just a desire to bring change to my community. And I moved on to this street, Martin Luther King Boulevard, still in the neighborhood I live in right now. And I was told I had to meet one of the great community leaders in that neighborhood if I was gonna make a difference. So I went to go meet Miss Virginia Jones, the tenant president of these high-rise towers called Brick Towers. She was one of the most important mentors of my life, but this is like our first meeting. I knocked on her door, she opened it, and I told her with this sense of confidence of a graduate, I said to her, I'm here to help you. And she looked at me like, oh, you're the one that needs some help. And so after talking a little bit, she brings me down to Martin Luther King Boulevard. Now this was 20 plus years ago. It was a much different place then. There was a lot of difficulties that were very evident to my eye. And, and, uh, and she said to me, I'll never forget. She goes, if you want to help me, describe what you see in my neighborhood. And I was like kind of confused. It was a strange question. I go, what do you mean? She goes, describe my neighborhood. And so I started. I pointed out the graffiti, the housing projects, the abandoned buildings. I just started talking about what I saw. But before I could even finish, she just looked upset. The more I talked, the angrier she looked. And finally, she just says, you can't help me. And she starts to walk away from me. So I'm confused and I sort of run after her and I say, excuse me, I, I, I don't understand, what do you mean? And then she turns around and looks me hard in the eyes. And she says, boy, you need to understand something. The world you see outside of you is a reflection of what you have inside of you. And if you're one of those people who looks at my neighborhood and all you see is problems, darkness and despair, that's all there's ever gonna be. But if you're one of those stubborn people who every time you open your eyes, you see hope, you see opportunity, you see love, you see the face of God, well then you can be one of those folks that helps me. Class of 2022, I have learned that what is inside of you is more important than anything that you encounter outside of you. I've learned that if you see no magic or encounter no angels, it's because you harbor none. Be one of those people that shows up with eyes of hope and wonder. Be one of those people that shows up and sees the possibility, sees the promise. Be one of those people who brings a spirit that is humble of heart, that recognizes the dignity and the divinity of others and does what you can to add to the potential, to add to the promise of the future. I hope you all bring that heart and that spirit to everything that you do because the world is wide open for you right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now too that the world needs you. It needs the best of you. It needs your vision. It needs your hard work. It needs your light and it needs your love. I wish you all the best class of 2022. I can't wait to witness the contributions that you will make. Thank you, congratulations, and I am sending you all my heart and celebration for you are worthy of this day and even greater things ahead.